I'm Leanne Chama. I'm one of the pediatricians here in Cornwall, based in my clinic and also at uh, Cornwall Community Hospital. To be fair, first of all, the number is not zero in terms of cases becoming more severe in children. There have been cases um, of children um, getting very sick, whether it's at home or having to be hospitalized, and there have been cases of children dying. So when we say that COVID is safe for young people, that's actually not true. It's not a zero percent chance. Um, the other really kind of interesting aspect of it is when children do get it, they tend to do very well. That's almost um, it, it almost makes matters worse because if a child is well and they're walking around with COVID, um, that makes them basically a vector or a vehicle for COVID spread. Um, so if my, you know, if my little guy has, gets COVID and he's just got a low grade fever, um, the tendency to not keep him home because he's not sick is going to be less. He's going to be out there in the community um, spreading it to potential vulnerable people. And this is where uh, vaccination can help because you're stopping that spread. So if you look at any medical intervention, whether it's a, a medication, a vaccine, a procedure, there are side effects to every single uh, you know, intervention we do. I think we have to put things into perspective. So after the first dose of COVID vaccine, there's a 4.4 in 1 million uh, chance of the individual developing myocarditis. To put that in perspective, if you look at something like amoxicillin, which is an antibiotic that we use very commonly in, um, in uh, all fields, especially pediatrics, so amoxicillin, the chance of having a severe allergic reaction called anaphylaxis um, in, in um, amoxicillin allergy is, is 0.01 to 0.05 percent, so actually much higher uh, than the side effect of uh, myocarditis from the COVID vaccine. So we always think about risk versus benefit ratio. What is the risk of these side effects versus what is the benefit of getting the intervention? Um, and in this situation, the benefit of uh, preventing COVID, preventing COVID cases in the individual, and preventing spread in the community is far higher uh, than that very, very small risk. Of, of myocarditis. There have been no demonstrated effects on fertility uh, when a person receives the COVID vaccine. So we're talking, when we talk about fertility, we're talking all the way from, you know, young people going through puberty all the way up to fertility of adults, uh, reproductive health. Um, so uh, in terms of the effects on young people, it does not, has not been shown to have any effect on puberty. Um, and also um, even more um, uh, kind of interesting is uh, pregnant women have been getting vaccinated with the COVID vaccine. Um, people have been getting pregnant after they get the COVID vaccine and there have been uh, no demonstrated um, side effects to mom or to the baby uh, in those situations. For me, receiving the vaccine was uh, a very, very important. Um, I, I um, in, in terms of the spread, because I see so many children uh, every day, I wanted to keep my patients safe. I didn't, again, I didn't want to be a vehicle for uh, infection in terms of my patients, the newborns, uh, parents, grandparents that come into clinic. Um, so I know that if myself and my staff are vaccinated, that we have a safe working environment. Um, the other thing is to protect my family. Um, I have two small children at home and, um, and my husband, and I wanted to keep them safe. Uh, my older brother uh, died last month of COVID on May 15th, Max. Um, he was 42 years old, uh, no risk factors, very healthy young man. Um, so it just goes to show that you never know uh, when uh, COVID will hit and how badly. I, I uh, sincerely hope that, that the situation that my brother went through and that my family's going through does not happen to any anyone else. And um, he wasn't able to get the vaccine because it was not available for um, for him uh, prior to him getting hospitalized. So I would really like to emphasize the importance of uh, getting the vaccine and, and keeping people out of hospitals and keeping everyone healthy and safe.